Just putting the finishing touches on a work of art. As uh, We're giving you a little preview of what's going on here at the Transcona Museum for spring break. Uh, Aaron McIntyre, you are the curator here at the museum. Uh, we will talk about why I chose a butterfly very <laughs> shortly, but let's talk about why we chose postcards because your spring break activities actually tie into uh, one of the brand new galleries, right? Absolutely. Our brand new exhibit, um, Love Letters to Transcona. So Love Letters to Transcona is a great reason to come to the museum, check out what's new and exciting, but yeah. if you come down with the kids, they're going to be able to work on one of these little activities. So we can get them going on a very own postcard because the idea behind uh, the letters exhibit was uh, real everyday Transcona stories documented and on display here at the museum. Absolutely. So you guys d haven't done a spring break uh, event for a while. So this no. is, uh, let, let's go over the rules here. Do I need to sign up ahead of time? When no. can I stop by? Uh, it's just a drop-in program. Okay. So from Monday to Thursday, we're closed on Friday because it's Good Friday. Mm -hmm. um, between between 1 and 4 in the afternoon, kids under the age of 12 need to be accompanied by an adult. We'll have story time, we'll have crafts for the kids, and um, some of our beautiful butterflies. Now, Absolutely. not to be confused with my postcard because you mentioned beautiful butterflies, <laughs> but uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Where did you guys acquire these from? And this is a very special collection that's very unique to the Transcona Historical Museum. We actually have thousands of butterflies in our collection that were really? donated. Yeah, that were donated to us um, by C.S. Quelch. And these are just some of my favorites that I pulled. Those are actually moths on the left. If we're going to oh, get technical, whoa, but okay, good. we don't want to get angry emails from <laughs> no, the mothists no, who are watching exactly. the show. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Now I'm guessing these were not found uh, in Transcona because they look uh, pretty exotic. Exotic. There's a mix, actually. Some of them are from Manitoba, oh, but some oh, of them really? are from all over the world. Yeah. Whoa, so that's the mm -hmm. question. You come to the museum while the kids are working on the craft, you can look and ponder and try to figure out uh, which ones are the local ones and which are the out-of-town visitors. So a uh, <laughs> really fun activity for uh, the kids to be working on. And then uh, while the kids are uh, working on this, maybe the parents can tour around and uh, check out the uh, the new galleries. Absolutely. A lot of good things going on here at the Transcona Museum as uh, three new galleries have been revamped. Now, if you want to come and check out uh, the revamped galleries, when are we able to do this? So you guys have been closed for uh, about a month getting things ready. So yeah. now it's the grand opening. When can you see opening. the hard work? Uh, we open on Friday, March the 22nd, and our regular operating hours are Tuesday to Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Perfect. If you need more information, just go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. Take a quick break here on BT. And more to come later today on City. Heat, wind, summer, fire,